YouTube, what's going on everybody? Hey, we're back with another video and today I am in Mount Dora, Florida. And all I can say is, is uh, it's pretty much way out from the city. <laughs> it took me about an hour to get here from, from where I live in Orlando. And so, uh, pretty nice ride though. It's Sunday morning and I'm excited about this trail, but I'm also a little nervous because um, it rained uh, this morning and I know that there's a lot of wooden uh, features and tracks on this trail and obstacles and so when you got water and wood usually that equals slippery and so hopefully everything's going to be good. This is the only time I was able to squeeze in because of the, uh, the uh, predicted rainstorms that have been happening pretty much every single day. It rains a lot here in the summer pretty much every day and so I have not ridden my bike in two weeks so just to get it out today I was like okay I got a couple hours I'm gonna try to go through this trail and then head back before the storm and so yeah it looks like it's bright and sunny um, for right now but it is going to rain later today so I'm, I'm going to try to hit this um, as soon as possible. Uh, what I've heard about this trail though is you can finish it between about an hour, hour and a half the whole thing so it's not that long but it definitely looks fun. And so yeah, I'm excited to bring you this video. Um, so I'm not gonna make this too long of an introduction. Again, this is the Mount Dora Mountain Bike Trail in Mount Dora, Florida. And I will see you on the trail. Slip on that next trail, get me in there. I'm gonna get my poor downgrade here today. What is this one?
fine. Okay. All right. Now you're good.
<laughs> no, no, go ahead, go ahead, sorry. <laughs> Crazy shit back here. Moving cautiously. Just never know, man. But I see this shit. Ah, boy. This is why I get going up this long just to go. Um I really don't even know where to start because it is the most humid that I've seen <laughs> or felt in a long time. So that was my first run, my first experience with Mount Dora. And I must say, out of all trails that I've ridden so far, out of all trails I've done videos for, 
that is probably the most exhausting but I will say this has been the most humid day as well I also didn't eat breakfast today which I never recommend which I usually normally never do and by an hour in I'm completely zapped out I'm, I'm completely exhausted right now and so I tried to do the uh, I think it's called the Helter Skelter uh, trail portion of the Mount Dora and um, I struggled on that I struggled this trail is a lot more hilly than I thought and even though it's hilly it requires you to do a lot of climbing and um, it was sunny in the beginning very humid then the overcast came and it just became more humid as it gets ready to rain and so I'm I'm like completely exhausted I got a lot of I'll tell you one thing my bike that GT Avalanche no longer looks new I got scrapes and scratches all over that thing after today's trail um, but overall I, I truly enjoyed it um, I was a little skeptical at first because um, all of the wood was wet very very slippery the rocks were very very slippery I was sli I wasn't sliding all over the place but I definitely was sliding and losing grip my shoes were losing grip and they have a lot of grip on the bottom of them they're four trails and it was just so wet out there and so it kind of kind of scared me a little bit because I just didn't want to slip and fall especially off of any um, any of the technical stuff but then the sun came out and it dried up a little bit and I was able to go back and do some of those things and you'll see in the in the video but then there were a lot of other things I still couldn't do I didn't trust because it was just way too wet <clears throat> And it was early in the morning when I got here. I got here like at what, 9.30 or 9 o'clock? So I've been out here for almost two hours, man. And uh, and yeah, it's, it's been a day. So um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate this trail just for me personally. I, I liked it. I would give it probably a good 7.5. Um, I think it's a fun trail. I think the easy portion of it was easy, but it still was fun. The intermediate was fun. And then the health of skelter part, I guess that's the most difficult was crazy it, it, it was just so slippery and so hilly I struggled on that one but I think if I would have hit that one first and would have ate breakfast I would have done a lot better um, and then would have done the easy trails with no problem I did all the easy and intermediate first and then hit the helter skelter and yeah it was it was a struggle um, another thing that kind of shook me a little bit was uh, that sign that said there are bears out here and for whatever reason I'm not scared of the gators on some of the trails I've been on I haven't really been scared of snakes I haven't been scared of any bobcats or any wild animal but I have been kind of thinking in the back of my mind what if I encounter a bear and that's kind of I don't know I, that that's a little bit creepy I, I don't travel with the knife but I think I am I don't know what that would do probably absolutely nothing but I'd rather have one than not have anything but I do know the whole you know low down on if a bear comes by you know you're supposed to either play dead or don't look at it be very very still back away you know I know I know the whole process with bears but if you encounter one but still I've been watching too many bear movies and that last Leonardo DiCaprio movie yeah that one's got me uh that one's got me a little bit shook man cuz I'm telling you if I see a bear it's one thing to know what to do but when you're actually in those situations it's a whole different story on how you're going to react. So, But um, I didn't see any bears. So all was good on this trail, guys. I, I highly recommend Mount Dora. I will be back on this trail, but I know what to expect now. I know I need to get up probably a little bit earlier. Um, I need to go when it's probably hasn't been raining anytime soon. And I definitely am going to eat a good breakfast before I hit this trail and do the health of Skelter first. Um, Nothing too, too dangerous, but there are a lot of fast portions of this trail. I was reading some reviews and people were saying it wasn't that fast. I beg to differ on that. Sorry about that, guys. The camera cut off. I think the battery died. But yeah, um, so that's about it. I'm not going to make this too much longer. I'll definitely be back. I know what to expect next time. Highly recommend Mount Dora in Mount Dora, Florida. Until the next video, guys, be safe out there on the trails. And uh, I will catch you on the next video. Have a good week. Peace.